this is a pelvic ultrasound of a 25 years old young unmarried girl. This is the longitudinal section and uh, you can see that uh, there is this is the uh, okay, let's measure it first. It measures 6.9 by 3.6 centimeter. 6.9 is the length, 3.6 is the anterior posterior diameter, and uh, this is the anterior surface of the uterus. This is the posterior. This is the cervix of the uterus. And uh, thus, this is a longitudinal section of the uterus, and uh, above it lies the adequate field of urinary bladder. Okay, now this is a nulliparous size normal. Now, if you note, interesting thing to note is that this is the cervical canal, this area. It becomes continuous with the endometrial canal. Is this the endometrial canal or is this the endometrial canal? Now, in fact, this line is communicating with this area, this ecogenic area. Now, this ecogenic area is the endometrial canal, this one. And uh, this endometrial canal is really seen in the center because from the anterior surface, if you measure, it is 21.3 millimeter and uh, if we measure it from at the posterior, it is 8.6 at a distance of 8.6 mm from the posterior wall and it is 21.3 mm from the anterior wall of the uterus and thus it is not in the center <coughs> though as it measures approximately 12.3 no 10.2, 9.3 millimeter. So it is in the late proliferative phase. <coughs> it's internally clear. No hemophilia in the myometrium. Now, why is this seen in the posterior uh, for displaced posterior? This is the question. Now the thing is that uh, this is the same view that you were seeing the endometrial canal that there are two endometrial now when I move the probe caudally here I am I am moving the probe towards the right side of the patient so I get this endometrial canal this is the endometrial canal this area 27 by 11 millimeters and when I move the uh, angle the probe towards the left side, I get another endometrial canal. There are two endometrial canals. This is the other one. 20 by 20 millimeters by 13 millimeters. So this is one. This is second one. First one, second one. This, this. My maneuvering allows you to see both of them, but for that I have to angle the probe. This is the, so you see one endometrial canal. This is the second endometrial canal. And the second important thing to note in these patients is that this is they share the single uh, cervical canal. There are not two cervical canals. There is one cervical canal, one uterus, but two uh, horns of the endometrial canal are clearly visualized. They will be more clearly seen in the transfer section. So now let's move to the transfer section. Now this is the transfer section. And uh, in transfer section, the uterus measures 3.9 centimeters in, <coughs> and uh, this is the 
endometrial canal number one. This is the endometrial canal number two. This one. This is the two second one. Both are separate. One, two. Now we have to differentiate that uh, is this a subseptate uterus or a bicornuate uterus? This is a subseptate uterus because in bicornuate uterus you will see a curve, a V-shaped curve or U-shaped curve with the anterior wall of the uh, uterus. In this the anterior wall of the uterus is straight, there is no indentation between the two canals. So this is the differentiating point between the subseptate and the uh, bicornuate uterus. Rest all will be the same. This is a magnified view in which you are clearly seeing two canal, endometrial canal separate with the no indentation with the interior wall. So there are two endometrial canals with sharing one cervix, one uterus, no indentation in the anterior wall. This is a sub subtate uterus. This is the uterus in transposition. And this is the urinary pair in transposition. So this is endometrial canal 1, this is endometrial canal 2. Let's have a bird's eye view of the ovaries. This is the right ovary with follicular activity. This is the right ovary. And this is a follicle clearly seen. Here is the left ovary. And you can see the follicular activity within it. These are the follicles. This is the follicle, this is the follicle, the largest measuring 12 millimeters. Now, thank you.